I should have one of those bugles that plays like the camp. Do 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 do. Like wake up. Why? It's time to get started with the June challenge. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to you it. You have been looking forward to this video for like three weeks. This is a first for us. We've never done, I don't think, a video that was introducing a monthly challenge. Right. I don't think we've done that yet. But, no, I don't think so. But I'm so excited about the June challenge I'm all about it. Like, I want to make sure we have as many people participate in this month's challenge as possible. I'm excited about this challenge because it's very different. It's very fun. And preparation has meant watching movies that I grew up with. Because we are children of the 80s and 90s. We were both born in the 70s, but let's face it, like, I don't know what 1976 looked like for, I don't remember it. But like, the 80s and 90s are very clear in my mind and we were all about watching movies right especially in the summer in the summer months we you know we had the vhs player and we would rent this was the time of blockbuster video right and actually a video tape town for us because we didn't even get blockbuster video until way later did you have a blockbuster video or did you rent from like one of those mom and pop places so no we started off with i'll never forget we we got our verse the first VCR, I want to say it was like 15, 16, maybe. Somewhere were, around there. And they were like $800. They were ridiculous. My parents went to like an electronics show and came home with that. Our first color television, so I think it was 14, actually. Our first color television, because prior to that, we had a 13-inch one, 13-inch black and white TV. Now we had a color one, still 13 inches. And a Texas Instruments was a TI-99 computer. That was my first computer. Wow. And so the we, Blockbuster didn't exist yet. So my parents went to one of those like local video stores where you had to pay some ridiculous money for like a lifetime membership. Membership. Which went out of business within a couple of years because of Blockbuster Video. Yeah. So like don't don't buy into the membership because right. it's not gonna stick around. But one of the things that we really enjoyed over the summer months was you could rent movies, right? Watch them at home. Yep. And a lot of times they were, you know, I was watching in the nineties movies that you were that was happening in the eighties. Right. And I was very much drawn to movies that had like a either a camping or scouting sleepaway camp theme now and you actually went to sleepaway camp yeah now don't forget about the movies with the 80s music montage right you had to have a Fixing clean up montage yep. right so yes i spent my childhood at summer camps i went to a boy scout sleepaway camp for either four or six weeks every summer. I was actually a CIT there for a couple of years. And I love summer camp. I love the summer. I loved spending my time. We had that, you know, when I went up to, we saw to the A-frame where my mom is right now. That's where we spent our summers, on that lake. That's where, So I loved summertime and I love summertime movies and everything about them. Things like meatballs, all those kind oh, yeah. of movies. There were so many. I mean, some of them, you know, we're going to talk about. We I tried to keep everything G-rated, PG-rated, because there are movies like Meatballs, but I don't want to, you know, those aren't all family-friendly right. movies. Right. But I didn't go to Sleepaway Camp, but I still liked those summer camp scouting movies because they were super relatable to me growing up as kind of like a chubby kid. Right. Because they were always kind of had a theme of people coming together, usually the misfits, the oddballs, that had some sort of common cause and really a common enemy a lot of times right. that they would somehow triumph over in the end. Okay, so this is the Kira channel. Why are we talking about movies? Because I think that there's a lot of, of connection 
between some of the themes that are brought up in those movies and really the root of what we struggle with in our eating plans. Okay, so let's get into the challenge. The challenge for the month of June is called... Camp Crazy. Camp Crazy. It's Camp Crazy. So we're, it's two crazy ketos. Welcome to Camp Crazy. Welcome to Camp Crazy. We're gonna be your your directors. You're, you're, you're in charge of the boys and in their cabin. I'll be in the girls in our cabin. So I want the top bunk. I, I just wanna like put that out there. I want top bunk. What, what bunk did you like? Did you uh, like top bunk? Yeah, I like top bunk. I don't know. Except, except for if, really you, me. if you roll over, you may fall on the ground though. Yeah. That's so. the only thing. So let's talk about what we have to do. So so what is the focus of this challenge? You're going to watch movies. Yeah. You're going to watch movies. We actually have, there's 30 days in June. And so we are going to give you three days per movie. So we're going to be looking at 10 different movies right. that have at least one scene of scouting or summer camp or something. You're going to see, because some of them you're going to be like, wow, we're like, for instance, Adam's Family Values. Wait a second. Adam's Family Values, that's not all about summer camp, but they are at a summer camp for some of the scenes in that movie. Right. So now all of this is going to be on our website. So if you head over to our website every day, it has what we're doing for now that's going to be for three days so it's only going to change every three days on the website but you so you're going to have three days at a time listed on the website along with that there's always the day's recipe like whatever the daily recipe is yeah exactly so let's take for instance day one because that's what you're going to be looking at first the first movie that we're going to be visiting is the parent trap and i know that they remade it but we're going back to the Haley Mills version in the 1960s, Parent Trap. That's actually at summer camp is where they meet one another and realize that they're twins, right? Okay. So in that movie, we're going to have three days to look at some of the activities that they have in that movie. So there's canoeing and there's tetherball and they have swimming. There's all kinds of things. So you have three days to get through some of the activities that maybe you see in that movie. And you may find some activities, I'm giving you suggestions every day, but there's activities that maybe I missed and right. you can do it by, you know, getting some movement in that is related to that movie. And then also we're gonna be having uh, recipes, three recipes per movie, kind of inspired by that movie. So for instance, the Parent Trap recipes will have an Italian theme to them, because if you remember from that movie, it's all about trying to recreate their parents' first date night, and it was at an Italian restaurant. So for 30 days, we're just doing whatever activities are in the movies, or is, or is there a different theme for each set of movies? Well, every movie will have its own movement in it, so you're okay. going to see that they naturally differ depending on you know what is in the movie. Okay. The recipe will change. But the third aspect of this, and it's something that we haven't really touched on in the past, is what are some of the, the themes that are brought out in the movie that can kind of speak to the root of some of the things that you struggle with in your eating plan? I like that. Yeah. I like that because, I'm, you know, yeah, you watch movies and you're like, I can relate to that. Yeah, because here's the thing. We can give you movement challenges and we can give you recipes and we can say like, move and eat right, move and eat right. But if we don't get to the root of some of the things that we're struggling with, we're not going to have success moving forward. Okay, so we're filming this and I just came up with something and you're probably going to hit me when we get off of the camera. Okay. Let's make this a book club challenge. Oh, okay. It's a movie club. All right. It's, it's a book club, but in a movie form. And I say we add an extra live stream in every single week for the month of June. where We get together and we talk about what we learned from the movie. Okay, so instead of it being like you're not gonna have to read anything when you say book challenge. Yeah, well, you in a book club, right? You would read, you would read, and then you get together during the week to talk about it and talk about what you learned in that chapter or what you thought happened in that chapter. So how about we had a second live stream? Okay. To be determined what day and time. Right. And we'll kind of in the live stream talk about like some of the themes. These are the emotions that this movie they're eating, the way they're acting, brought up, and we can kind of have a chat with our community about that. I think that this like is- Like it's a movie book club. Yeah, it's like a- well, But we're gonna do it live. Yeah. We're gonna do it live. I, 
I think that's a great idea. I'm, I'm not angry about that at all. I think that that, that is- We seriously didn't plan this. We didn't, but I think it's super important for us to start delving into some of the tender spots. Emotions, like what what is causing us to overeat? What is causing us to not exercise? What is causing us to feel the way we're feeling? And sometimes they're deep down emotions that we don't even realize. I mean, like I, I watch a movie and get triggered by something because it reminds me of something from 20 years ago. So let's do right. this. So we were gonna actually make this a weekly video. I think we should do it live so we can kind of talk to people about I it. I think so too, because I think that a lot of emotions and a lot of you know people will bring in different perspectives in the chat. Which okay. I think is very important, and I just want everybody to know that you know it's as, optional. By the way, it's this optional. Is a completely optional challenge. Yep, to share what you're going through, but I think that we're gonna get to the root of some stuff, and it's okay. This is a safe place. Yep. So, can you give us a hint on some of the other movies? Absolutely, I'll give you, I mean, I can give you all of the movies if you want, but yeah, there's gonna be uh, like Troop Beverly Hills okay. was a favorite one, Camp Nowhere okay. was one, um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which again, I know you're gonna be like, wait a second, what does that have to do with the summer camp and scouting? But do you remember River Phoenix actually plays a younger version of Indy in that movie and he is all in his scouting gear? Sounds good. I see something over there, what's that for? Here's something that I'm doing to give myself an incentive to do each challenge, and that is making a merit badge, right? Because that's what scouting, usually you're working towards I something. have a lot of merit badges. I love merit badges. I love having an incentive. So I went to- You need your blue dot. You, I need my blue dot. Y'all know I need my blue dot. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these, um, it, they were on sale, so it was $2 for a set of 12 of them. Obviously, I need three packages in order for to get through all 30 days of the challenge. But these are just blank cards inside of these um, buttons. Okay. All right? Because you could use iron-ons. You could use buttons. You could use pins. Okay. If you want to, you could get patches. It doesn't matter what they stand for from another person's expect, you know, perspective. It doesn't matter like that you don't understand why I have a cat and a top hat. But it means, it means something. something to you. It means something to me. And every day that I'm getting movement in, I'm I'm sticking with my plan to move and I'm sticking with my meal plan, I get one of these merit badges. I like that. So this is something else that I did once I got them home and there's a whole bunch of blank ones and I thought, wow, I've got to decorate so many. I actually started giving, I'm gonna like tear up because this is really special. I started giving some of these badges to make out to people in my life. I gave one to Caleb, I gave one to Anthony and I gave one to my mom and asked her, can you make a merit badge for me and when I um, achieve a, a movement goal and stay on my eating plan for a day, this will be your day for me. And she brought it back and I thought, this is so beautiful. So my dad was a philatelist, which is a stamp collector, and my mom collects uh, teacups. And she's like, yeah, I, I just wanted something that had stamps and a teacup in it because I just want you to know that whether or not we said it while you were growing up, like we really support you in your health goals, not just in your you know career goals, but in your health goals, we support you. Me and daddy are, are with you in spirit. And I thought, wow, that really speaks right into my childhood. You right. know, this is something like I needed to hear is that my parents are completely behind me, not just in, you know, my career goals and my goals as a mother and a wife, but also like my health goals, because it wasn't something that we talked about all of the time, right? you know? So I, this was really meaningful. So yeah, I thought this is a great idea for us to just have a merit badge, and it doesn't have to be one of these. Again, it could be a pin, it could be a, an iron-on patch. Anything, any anything. kind of reward. It could Sticker, be a charm. Could be a charm, yeah. Anything but food. Don't, don't use food as a reward. No. That's the one thing we're trying to get away from is using food as a reward. We are very guilty of using food as a reward. So we're trying to move away from that and find something else, and I think that this has a potential for being a very meaningful summer. Well, I am excited about this challenge, especially because I love movies. Oh, I love them too. I love watching movies, but what I really like is, I mean, I'm excited about the movement and because it's gonna give you something different to do, but what I really like about movies is I like finding the message. Like, what is the hidden message? What was the writer or the director of this movie trying to say to us? And there's always like an underlying message that 
if you're just watching it for entertainment, you a lot of times don't get. But yeah. Like one of my favorite movies, it's a Bronx tale. And throughout the movie, what is he constantly saying? He's like, there's nothing worse in the world than wasted talent. If you're watching the movie for entertainment, you get right past that. But when you start thinking about that statement, and I feel like every one of these movies is going to drive home a message that when you look at it from this perspective, you're never going to have even realize it was there before. Well, and you know, we've stopped mindlessly eating. Right. Where we've gotten away from just like boredom eating and snacking without any kind of direction. And we're gonna watch movies, not mindlessly, but you know, what are we getting out of it? What what can we kind of meditate on moving forward? And are there some things that, that need to change? Maybe we need to, you know, close the chapter on something and be like, okay, yeah, that was a part of my childhood or that was a part of my past, but I can move forward from here. I don't have to dwell here because that's the thing with scouting and with the sleepaway camp. You don't live there. You don't still live at sleepaway camp, right? right. Like you come home, you graduate from scouting. You have to move up whether you're ready to sometimes or not because maybe you like the scouts that you're that are in your troop, but you move up and you graduate from that place. And I think that's a positive thing. Well, that is going to be this video. Let us know down in the comments section if you're going to be participating. Let us know some of your favorite summer movies. I'm excited to see that. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.